Hi and welcome to this video. I hope you're all fine and you're doing well. And today we're going to talk about the prompts in Midjourney. I want to show you three simple image prompts to get started. So this is really a basic tutorial. If you're already more advanced, please have a look at my other advanced videos. So to get started for generating images, we have seen in the last video how you can get your Discord channel and how you can get started. But in this video, I will again show you some different methods or some different ways to generate your images. So let's get started. So if you look at the documentation here of Midjourney, you can go to docs.midjourney.com and go here to the next step and to the prompts and you will find the three basic prompts that I want to show you in this video. So the first very simple prompt to generate your first image in Midjourney would just be some kind of description. So you could type in slash imagine like I've just done and you saw, and then we would do something like French bulldog in space. And then we need to wait a little until the mid journey bot is generating the image for us. Just some more explanation here. You see what we typed in. Then we see the quality. Quality is one, which is standard. The version of mid journey, which I'm using version four now, and the sampling and the stealth and the mode. So it's on a fast mode at the moment. And you see already the image is creating it's almost done it's 93 percent already and you see it's a very nice four images that have been created for us and as you remember from the last video if you want to make some more variations for example of this second one you would click here on v2 to make some more variations if you want to make it bigger click on u2 like to upscale it but this is not what we going to do today. I want to show you some other ways to generate image. So another way to do that is to upload your own image and modify this image. So you could even go to Google and take out an image from Google. And I want to show you how you can upload your own image. So if you take this image of um, of this nice lady here and I upload it to Midjourney. I get this image here and what I will do is I will click on the image and then I will copy the media link. So don't copy the message link and don't download it or do anything else. Just copy the media link and what you can do then is again always you start with imagine. Then we copy in the link of the image and then we can type something like cartoon style. You could also type in cartoon pixel style. You could type in everything you want to. You can type in like superhero style or business woman or uh, whatever you want or holding a cup of uh, coffee or in the car or something like that. We can look at it in the future. So again, it will take a little time to generate because now Midjourney has to take the image. Midjourney has to analyze the face in this case and then come up with some ideas. If you experience that it's not really working for you, so the person you're uploading is getting very different to what you want. So the outcome is, is not, uh, you can't see that this is the person anymore, then I would recommend to just cut the face out. So sometimes it is very difficult to do that if you have a whole body image, if you cut out the face, the results are getting much better a lot of times. So you see already, this is almost created and it's, it's pretty funny. So I would say you can still see very clearly that this should be this lady. Sometimes it looks a little strange, but I mean, we typed in cartoon character, right? So what else can we do? Let's try another one. So imagine again, and I still have the link in my cage. So I will just paste it in. So imagine the image link and then we'll type in super hero. Let's see what comes up. 
And again, Midjourney will take the image and then use the image to generate it. In some cases, especially for man images, it's recommended to put in some kind of um, argument or some kind of comment that it says man superhero because Midjourney on default uh, tries to make it more like a woman. But in this case, it already looks like it's it's going to be almost like a man. So also in this case, we could type like female superhero maybe. Let's try that again. So this is generating, but it looks very much like a, like a man, I would say, right? So again, imagine the link and then woman superhero. Let's see if it's different. I mean, it's it's clearly a woman, as you see here. So it just looked in the generation process like a man. But I will show you a much better way now to create something like a superhero, much easier and much closer to what you want. So you could take an image of Superman or some superhero and use that. But what I want to do now is a different way. Let's wait and this is generated, but we can already upload a different photo. So what I did, I made this superhero woman, for example, and I will use this image to mix it up with our image. So what I will do is I will Again, start with imagine here. Then I will go back to the original image of the lady, copy the link, paste it in. Then I will copy this link and also paste it in here. So I just copied and pasted both of the image links into it without giving any recommendation. And what Midjourney will do now is it will combine the images. In version four, which I'm using, it's not possible anymore to give the image weight. That means that I cannot tell Midjourney that I want one image to be more overlaid or more present in the image creation. In version three, it was possible to do so, but the results are actually very, very good, as you will see very soon. So we have to wait a little. I will pause the video here and I will be back as soon the images are generated. I'm still waiting for the images to generate. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but it doesn't matter. So let's use the time to generate something else. So let's say we want, we can take this picture and copy the media link. And then we just say, imagine, just want to show you some more versions of this. So imagine, and this is clearly superhero flying over New York, New York City. Let's try that, what Mid Journey is coming up with. Again, if it takes a long time, sometimes the Mid Journey bot will take a lot of time because the server is very highly used. So I will take another break here and I am back as soon as we are back already, see. So let's see what it created already. This would be the flying over New York City. And you see already, we can see some kind of superhero. It's now a little modified, but it's really fascinating. I would see what Mid Journey is doing here because it's clearly New York in the background. The character is a little, I mean, it's still very close. But you see here in all of the three images, we can see this superhero character now flying over New York City and it's clearly New York City. And we could even go that far and copy this out. For example, I would copy the text here and then I go into and type imagine, copy all of that inside. I have to remove the characters I don't want to. So I would just take away this part of the code. And we could do something like um, 
if you want to change it smiling smiling happy beautiful woman beautiful superhero let's do it like that so i just added smiling happy and beautiful superhero to the image and let's see what's going to be created here so here we have another outcome from an image we generated before this is still generating and here we put in the woman superhero as you saw so it's pretty good because we have clearly her face or we can really recognize that this was this woman and it used just some some dresses or some superhero fitting so we know that this is her So in this case, we got an error message now. And why is that? Because you see, I forgot to remove this. So it doesn't matter. I just copy the text and put it in again. Imagine. And now I will make sure to remove all of, of that. And in the meantime, as you saw, it generated the next image already so let's make sure we have everything removed it shouldn't be there looks good now look at this one so in this case we blended the two together as you remember we took the one image of the superhero and we put the face of the woman on here and i think it's pretty good as well so let's wait just a little to see the last result it's already here and you will see it should look very different now. I can already see her smiling. This is because we put in smiling happy, of course. And let's see how much it changed from the character. And you can see it really did a very good and nice job. So this is a really good outcome that's all for today i just wanted to show you what are the basic steps that you can take to generate an image and how you can modify it yourself and you saw we started quite basic but then we added all these commands or all these modifications all these parameters and in the next video i will show you how you can even modify it much more i hope that was helpful don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video Bye-bye. See you.